Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another haul and I feel like I haven't posted a haul on my channel in a hot minute. So I have a lot of exciting pieces to show you guys. If you guys like my style and wanna see how I style my outfits, definitely go over and check out my Instagram. It's just at Tasha. I post a lot of outfit content and then I'm always posting on my stories, just updates about my daily life. So once again, that is just at Tasha. All right, so I have items from a bunch of different places, but I will probably start with Revolve. And I will do my best to link everything that I show down below in the description. And if something is sold out, I will try and link something similar. Okay, so first from Revolve, this is one of my favorite items. Maybe not the most practical for right now because I'm not really going anywhere <laughs> where I would wear this, but I think this is the perfect date outfit or part of an outfit this is like the coolest brown bodysuit it's gonna be hard to see what it would look like off me but i did post on instagram in this and you guys will also see in the try on but i really feel like this chocolate brown color is super in right now and is going to be really popular in the seasons coming this is such a nice material i just love how it looks i think it's really unique and different and I love this with just a pair of jeans, but I feel like this would also look good with some leather pants. So I love this. Next up, this top is gorgeous as well. And another great date top. I love how I'm thinking of everything in terms of dates, yet I'm not dating anyone. This top looks like this has these built-in cups and then it kind of flows off the shoulder and it's almost like a little peplum-y vibe. This is super, super flattering. I know they have this in a cream color and then I think like a floral print as well, but I love this top so much and I think this would be flattering on so many people. Next up is this little cropped gray sweater cardigan. I would probably leave it buttoned personally. This one is super cute. It's not itchy, but I think it has a little bit of wool in it, so it's not 100% the softest. So if you are sensitive with wool, keep that in mind, but I love the fit of this. I personally like really cropped things, and this is that. I did get some summery pieces, and honestly, that's because living in LA in the winter, it can still be warm, but this is one of those pieces. I've had my eye on this on Revolve for a while, and they finally had my size back in stock, so I got it, and yes, it definitely is a little bit summery, but I still love it so much. I took a photo in this as well, but it's this beautiful lavender and white floral dress. It has little tie sleeves, and then it's ruched with little rufflies at the bottom, and this is so, so soft. I just really love this dress. I love the cut of it. I love the fit of it. And I would even layer. I have this other little lavender purple cardigan from Revolve over top and I think it's super cute. So I love this dress. Another little floral dress. This one is really cute as well. It has like a little bustier. It's not wired or anything, but it just has that look. And what I liked about this one a lot is that the back is really low, which I personally love. Honestly, this would even look cute under the sweater I'm wearing now. I think that's a great way if you do live in a warmer area is just layering sweaters over your summery dresses to kind of make them a little bit more seasonally <laughs> appropriate. Guys, I have no plans for New Year's. And I doubt that I will have plans for New Year's, but that did not stop me from getting this sequin dress. Will I be able to wear it? You know, I'm unsure. I will wear it at some point. I just thought it was so cute. Look how pretty it looks on camera, oh my gosh. It's like black and gold sequins. It has like a little bit of mesh around the top and then it just goes down into this little mini dress. And I'm gonna be optimistic and say that things will be opening in 2021 and I will have a place to wear this. I got this red bodysuit. This one is such nice quality. It's like this thick material. I don't know if it's because I'm short. I feel like this is a little bit long on me. Like there's a little bit of extra fabric, but it still is a very 
beautiful bodysuit. It's ruched, it's off the shoulders, clipped at the bottom. My last item from Revolve was the one item that just didn't really work for me. So on the model, it looked like a sweater dress, but when I got it, it's just kind of too short and boxy to work on me, which is saying something because I'm only five foot one. So if it's too short on me, I don't know how they got it to look like that on the model. Nevertheless, it's a really, really soft sweater dress and I really like how the sleeves are so big, but you'll see what I mean when I have it on. So yeah, I mean, the material is really nice. It's super soft, but I just feel like it doesn't really work how I was expecting it to. Okay, moving on, I have a bunch of pieces from YesStyle. You guys might know I get stuff from YesStyle every month. So I wanted to show you guys some of my recent favorites from them. I get a lot of questions about if YesStyle is reliable for shipping and stuff like that. And it definitely is. A lot of the times the items just aren't in the warehouse when you order. So you wait for them to get the items from their suppliers and they ship them out as soon as everything in your order is in stock. So it can take a couple of weeks for everything to come in stock before they ship it to you, but I've always gotten all of my stuff, so I really like it. First from YesStyle are two trendy, very, very affordable little tank tops that I know you guys are going to love. The first one is the exact tank top that they sell on Verge Girl. I have the Verge Girl ones in two colors and it's my favorite top. And this is the exact, exact same one for a ton cheaper. I just got this sage green color, but I'm definitely going to get some more colors, but I 1000% recommend these. I think they're so flattering, at least on my body type, I find that, so love this one and then i also thought this top was super cute this is like a little lacy ribbed crop top i just got this light blue color and this one is very affordable as well so i also might get this in a pink color but love these we love an affordable little top and then i have two sweater vests to show you because sweater vests have been so trendy this is one that i feel like more people well, like, this is just an oversized gray one. I did wear this, but I guess I forgot to take the tag off. But this one's just nice, oversized. It has some slits on the sides. And I know they have this in a few colors if you guys don't like the gray. This one is definitely a little bit funkier. I'm sure some people will hate this, but I thought it was cool. And I just loved the colors in it. So I'm thinking of wearing this with a white turtleneck and then one of those little black cheer skirts that looks cute in my head so we will see but yeah i just love the colors in this it's super fuzzy and cute finally a weather appropriate <laughs> item i got this cheetah coat and the reason i like this one a lot is because it's cropped i do have a longer cheetah coat but now i can add this shorter one to my collection. You guys will see what this looks like on, but I'm picturing this with a graphic tee and some ripped jeans and maybe my docs, but yes, I love this. Okay, and then I have two accessories from YesStyle that I wanted to show you guys. First is this pair of boots. I love these boots so much. They go to like right under my knee, which I think is perfect. I love the square toe. I think the heel is a perfect height. So I would wear these with little dresses or skirts and I love them. I think the quality is great. These are not real leather, but I think they look pretty real. So love these. And then last item from YesStyle that I wanted to share is this little bag. I had a similar one from YesStyle and then the chain broke. So I tried to reorder the same one and it ended up being a little bit different, which was this one. But I actually think the quality on this one is even better. It's just like a little nylon bag, but I think the chain adds a fun little detail. And I don't know, I've just been using this a lot. I've really just gotten more into the habit of using affordable trendy bags over my expensive bags because I'm not as nervous <laughs> using them. So definitely love this one. I'm sorry if the framing or lighting changed, my camera died. <laughs> so I just charged it, but I am back. 
Next up, I have a few pieces from Beginning Boutique. I'm not gonna lie, these are all somewhat summery, but I think they're really cute, so I wanted to show you guys anyway. This little knit top I've already worn on Instagram. I love this color so much. It's the prettiest blue. It's just a ribbed little knit top and then it ties in the front. I'm not gonna lie, this could be a nip slip waiting to happen, but I think if you layer like a cute little cropped cami or something underneath, it's still super cute. I've already posted this as well. And then lastly, I love this skirt so much. It's the cutest little sage green mini skirt. And I don't know if you guys can tell because of the light, but it has the prettiest little flowers on it. I think even once again with this little sweater I'm wearing, it would be really adorable. So love this. So the last two clothing items that I have are both from random stores. I just made these purchases because I saw them and I wanted them. The first item is kind of random. I saw this on TikTok and for some reason, I felt like I needed it. I don't know. It's this pink sweater with a chili pepper on it. I don't know what drew me to this, but I love it. And my favorite part is on the back, it says spicy. This is from Skinny Dip London. And I don't know, I just thought it was like the cutest thing ever. I actually got this in a large and it fits me pretty much just how I'd want it to fit. So if you want an oversized fit, keep that in mind. But yeah, I don't know. Some people might think this is weird or ugly, but I, I really love it. Okay, and last clothing item, I had wanted this shacket plaid jacket from Zara and I, I didn't get it when they had it in stores and so I was looking on Poshmark and people were selling it for like $130 and it just like wasn't gonna happen for me. So I ended up searching lavender shacket plaid and I got this Shein one that popped up and it looked exactly like the Zara one. And just with my experience with shopping on Shein in the past, I've seen a lot of Zara dupes. And when I say dupes, I mean exact <laughs> without the Zara tag. So I don't know, I haven't seen the Zara one in person, but I feel like this could be another one of those almost exact dupes. But it's just this kind of lavender periwinkle color and tan shacket. And I don't know what it is. I love the shacket trend and I love these colors together, but this was really affordable from Shein. I think I got a medium. Yeah, I got a medium. I will link it down below, but it's nice and cozy. Some of the reviews said it was like itchy on the inside, but I haven't found that at all. I mean, it's not the same cozy material on the inside, but I personally like that because I sweat too much. Like even wearing this sweater now, I'm sweating in it. So if you guys like it, I would check it out. And lastly, I have some stuff from Bath & Body Works. It wouldn't be a Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul without that. I don't know if that's what I'm gonna call this video, but I did order these Bath & Body Works things, I believe, on Cyber Monday. I have raved about this one scent from Bath & Body Works so many times, so you guys might know. <laughs> but if you don't, the rose water and ivy scent from Bath & Body Works is my favorite scent of all time. I love the smell of rose and rose water, and this is just perfect. So I got another one of the Rose Water and Ivy Three Rick Candles. I also got the 24 Hour Shea Body Cream. I also got the Shower Gel, and I also got a Car Fragrance <laughs> Refill. So that was my Rose Water and Ivy, and then I also got two more candles. The other two I got are just these little single wicks, but I actually love the packaging of these ones. I think they're really cute. So I got Rose and Lavender from the Aromatherapy line and I like it, but I don't love it. I'm not getting a lot of rose in it, but I mean, I'll still, I'll still burn it. So that one, you know, it's kind of what you expect with ordering a candle online that you haven't smelled. But this one, one of my all time favorite scents is fresh laundry and dryer sheets. Like I love it. I love doing laundry because of the smell of it. I love walking by someone's house and smelling them doing laundry. It's so weird, but I've always loved it. So when I saw that Bath & Body had a sun drenched linen candle, I was intrigued. I looked at the reviews and people were saying it smells like fresh laundry. So that's all I needed to see to know that I had to have it. <laughs> 
and it does it smells like laundry and i'm obsessed i wish they had this in the three wick version <laughs> but they didn't when i placed the order so hopefully they will in the future but if you guys like the smell of fresh laundry sun-drenched linen i will be linking everything from bath and body down below as well but yeah so that was today's haul video i hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some inspo for purchases as always thank you guys so so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video bye